All right, so this is uh, now the stage where I put everything back together again. So this is going to be the uh, interesting stage. I might need the head and the backpack unit that they already put in place, but first I can probably put most of this body unit together. So let's see. My body unit is right here. So that is done. I didn't completely disassemble it, so it should be all right. Looks like it still fits, which is a good news. These parts should be movable, but I didn't take them apart, so they, they're still okay. It's pretty cool. This frame allows some tilting. Is this tiny part that was painted in the gunmetal color it fits right here? It was the whole point of separating the parts so that the the colors don't need masking. That looks like something of this sort. So this part is already on. I painted all the armor panels with the clear sealant just to protect the paint for this particular step when I, when I reassemble it. And this looks like a right fit. We need to hand paint the guns. Well, the fit is a little bit tighter now that the parts are painted, but not by much, so it's okay. I wanted to leave the parts movable, because that's a big feature of the kit. I'm now having second thoughts about gloss coating these parts. It would be probably easier if they were matte coated to begin with, but I want to weather it. Let's see if uh, any decals are needed on this body unit. Oh yeah, there are certainly some decals. Yep, I, I think this is the stage where I need to stop a little bit, put the decals on, because there are some here on the back. I don't think there is much, oh yeah, there are some on the front by the machine guns, yeah, certainly something to do here. Well, I have to do the decals on this body unit now, so I can paint everything flat on top with a clear sealant, because when I assemble the back of this unit, I need to lead the wires from the head and the backpack to it and then once those are in place I wouldn't be able to spray coat it anymore so this is uh, this body unit is a little bit out of sequence but anyway we'll start with the front there is a little decal at the very middle of the cabin cover and it's number 25 the little problem is that this third party decals that I have, they don't necessarily have all the same markings as the original sticker ones, but they are better quality in terms of how they go on. I'm going to cut it out. Okay, first is uh, painting the part with microset it goes right under it's a little bit tricky you need to strategically think about how it's going to be positioned yeah like that i think Oh, this is pretty much right where I want it. So I can just paint it with Microsoft 
to essentially dissolve the backing. We need to cut a little bit wider than the image area so they have somewhere to grab with the tweezer. Again, same steps, micro set right here. Not sure what exactly it does, it probably smooths out the surface a little bit. Yeah, I think it should be positioned like this. So these are the ones on the front. And on the back there are just two. I'm just tapping it to get rid of the bubbles. Oh yeah, and everything actually looks better on the white surfaces rather than on dark ones. Obviously there are many imperfections in this model. These are both because of my errors and uh, just the shortcomings of how the set is made. And uh, I'm a little bit worried about my next project which is perfect grade. It's 160th scale and this one is 1 100th. So I'm a little bit worried that at that scale, though there are more details, but the imperfections would be more obvious, so the illusion would be somewhat lost. I think I'm going to leave it like that.